So hi, Emanuele. Hi. Uh, we are here at Clank. Yeah. And you've got some new modules. Um, yeah. We, we haven't seen your stuff before, so. Yeah, that's the first time for Clank at Super Booth, and we just released a bunch of modules that go with Chaos, which is our very first module that we launched two years at AlphaGo, and. Um, well, let's start a bit with Chaos and then uh, go to the other modules and that complete the system, the microsystem that we made. And to start with, Chaos is a six channel uh, random, I'd say like a sort of Turing machine uh, on six channels that starts like that but ends like a sequencer. And uh, for each channel that you select from here, you can adjust you got a voltage range from 0 to 8 volt, but you can uh, adjust it and tune it to your needs. And you can also quantize the output. So every time the clocks do the, the sample and load, you can choose um, from non-quantized to quantized nodes on various scales. For instance, these 10 scales or so all the major modes, all the minor modes, and so on. Let's say I'll take a major pentatonic. And then you got all these parameters to adjust. So uh, you got the voltage range, as I said, the voltage base. So this is just the voltage window in case you are using for pitch, for instance. Then you got the probability for the gates to be uh, fired or not. So from 100% to uh, zero, of course. The width of the gates. And then once you have created a mood that you like, you can hit the loop button and you start hearing the last 32 steps that you, the machine have made. And you can go from 32 to, you say, one, just one step. And um, inside the loop mode, so now it's like more a sequencer, you can uh, also edit all the parameters like we do on the random mode. And with a new firmware that we are going to be, it's going to be released soon, you can edit each step as the same manner of the um, random mode and the loop mode. So actually it becomes a real complex sequencer where you can edit the time, the width, uh, everything of every step. And we like to say that we, it's a sequencer that starts from total chaos, then you tune it to what, you, what are your needs, and then you lock it in a sequence that you like, and you can save it on 10 slots. And yeah, it's a, it doesn't start like a blank page, it starts for full. So um, it's, uh, chaos is available now, right? Yeah, it's already available. Uh, in a new batch should come in June. And uh, we sell directly, sell directly from our site. We ship worldwide. And so, what is the? Do you have a euro price on that? Yeah, it's three and fifty-nine. Perfect. And uh, well, it's like the orchestra uh, manager of the whole system that we created around it. So, what else have we got in here? Because there's a bunch of new stuff, right? Yeah, we got for starting, starting from left. We got uh, this new uh, movement recorder that's based on uh, proximity sensors. It just waits you to enter in the field, then starts recording you. Then you can or trigger or put in the cycle and you can speed it up, speed it down. So it turns in, a, it can be a prepared key, it can be an LFO, uh, an envelope, and you just draw your, you just, record your movements. And so is that like an LDR then? It's like a light Oh no, it's a proximity sensor, right, very okay. precise. The, it's similar to the ones so on your phones. Okay. Um, and yeah, in this case, we are using this output to draw the waveforms on the new oscillator that we just brought here as a prototype, uh, Proteo, which actually has no waveform from the fault but just sine waves, and it's a stereo oscillator, but you can draw your waveforms in a just adding CVs from external input, and you got a time domain where you can record these movements or CVs to draw your waveform. You can freeze them and then blend it back with the sine waves. So it's just like the name says, 
Proteo has it was a shape shifter and can take any shape you want. So can we can we hear a bit of the oscillator? Yeah, of course. Let me start. Okay. And uh, this is the sine wave of the first channel on the left. And this is the final wave and everything in between with the morph control. One cool thing to say is that it's digital, of course, but it's not um, it's not like a usual digital oscillator. It's not a constant sample rate. It's a variable one, like the old machine, like PPG, or the, the old wave tables. So it, it has a full resolution from the lowest node to the highest. And it's a stereo one, of course, so there is just one uh, pitch. But you got on the second channel, you got uh, the span control that lets you um, the lets you put the um, sorry. You can make the go from one octave below to one octave above of the same pitch. So it's like like this. And one of the coolest thing too is that you can hear a, a constantly changing waveform, but you can still recognize the pitch. So, for instance, in this drone. You can hear the changing of the waveform and the harmonics that are made by just by this strange envelope I'm sending from the Terrarec, which is the movement recorder. And uh, then its perfect companion is Axis, which is a dual PCA with a dual envelope generator slash uh, function generator, and it has a final crossfader to move the, the channels from the speakers and uh, well it's not one of the VCAs or um, sorry it's not one of the envelope generator or function generator that has rise and fall times it has a bunch of envelopes that you can morph between also with CV and um, you only have the length of the envelope, so it's tailored to be to be made on audio pass, but it can also be put on CV and direct couple of the modules. And one uh, another cool thing is that it has a VCA of a VCA that you can use just for control the volume of the envelopes, and you can do accents uh, controls like um, velocity, for instance. And well, of course, then there is a low pass gate too, which is not vectoral based, it's a, a OTA. And it's like three models in one. And uh, since it, once you break the normalization between the VCA and the function generation, you can use this one, these two guys like, um, like function generators alone, and you can use them to draw, for instance, uh, uh, the waveforms on on Proteo, for instance. So this is quite a cool patch since the same envelope that is is used to move the VCA is actually drawing the waveform of the oscillator. You can see the shape of the envelope from here, from the two screens. So it's quite a small system that we developed, but it's quite powerful and only 54 HPs and uh, we also got a Sami mixer at the end which is useful if you want to play this voice along with a drum machine or another device. So um, are these, whereabouts are you with the development of these? Are they kind of ready to go? Are you hoping to have oh, them by the end of the year? What's the kind of Derek cycle? Derek is ready to go. We are just waiting for metal panels to arrive but I think there will be a, a tower lab when we'll be back from Super Booth. And these two guys are coming in autumn, I think. Um, and the whole system too is coming as soon as these two are ready. But we are close to the final revision, so we hope to have them in soon. Cool. And uh, prices? Are you kind of that's kind of yet to be decided, or uh, you have an idea? I think they will be 359. Also, the other two modules, and it's uh, 249 here. 
in the Terek and it's already available as a pre-order. So and the system? The system, uh, I don't. We don't know already what's the what's the price. We also made the case, which is a special made case uh, for this system. It has uh, recycled plastic uh, sides. In this case, they are made with water bottles mixed with orange bags and lemon bags, and the other the other one is made just with mineral water bottles. And uh, we want to add some features on the case, like uh, monitor out, because now we got only the phone out and the volume on the side, but it's just a prototype too, but we are close to the final revision too. Brilliant. Well, yeah, thank you very much. Thank and you. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>